hard for me to, to, to give an opinion when I, when I don't really know how it's all going to come together once the commission makes its final decision. But those are my comments. Right now, as proposed, we don't have those amounts in place, and we do have one remaining aspect on implementation of this case management system, which is the high-speed uh, internet, which hasn't been resolved yet. So that's going to be an added expense, which we do have enough in the budget to handle for next year. But I just those are some of the un unresolved matters. Has this been discussed in the IT committee, uh, Robin? No, we. I had sent it out via email. Okay. But we haven't had a meeting yet to discuss this. Um, when is the next meeting of the IT committee? Well, we usually meet every month, so hopefully this sometime in like the third week of December we'll end up meeting. On these sheets, you see I have a percentage breakdown. And my formulas are based strictly on actual number of PCs per department. Um, certainly Where is that? Um, if you look, that on your, uh, if you look on your 20 call sheet, yeah. uh, towards the right hand side, it has percentage breakdown. Oh, I see. On the top, right on, on the top. top. Okay. And I used a formula based strictly on the number of PCs per department. The committee has not discussed any other method of allocating the percentages. So this is uh, an opening guideline, if you will, if the, if the commission or the IT committee is looking to do it some other way. I can certainly adjust these numbers. So right now, now, the Sheriff's Department will pick up 63%, right? Correct. And of the, the, of the, the email the, server. Yeah. And the county attorney would pick up 21%. Maintenance, 2%. HR, 5%. Business office seven percent. Correct. These figures right here. Mr. Chairman, where are you seeing the percentage figures? I see right how many right computers. These, it's the second. Oh, point sixty three. Okay, thank you. I didn't, couldn't find them either. I think we need a lot of help from the IT committee. Um, I'm not versed on computers. I don't know if this is a good contract or a bad contract. Um, we need help. I, I say we need help. I'm not sure about the other two commissioners, but I'm assuming that they need help also. Um, I'm not sure where to go with this, if anybody's got any comments. Um, this contract would be effective March next year? Correct. April 1st. So we got some time, but we need to get it in our budget, that's all. Yes, Mr. Bams. Um, uh, Mr. Rich's company is uh, located in Belmont, New Hampshire. I notice his new contracted rate is $110 an hour. Is the rate you're charging us, John, is that port to port, or is that just while you're here? Uh, that is with uh, Travel One Direction. If we were on a time and materials basis, is it, it's not in this contract. Uh, this this contract um, we include travel to and from here as part of the contract. It's a one price contract for all services. So Say that again, please. Um, our contract is for repair and maintenance of any and all equipment here at the town. Right. We do not charge anything extra other than uh, acts of nature um, or what we call project work. Uh, which is included in all of here. So you're 10 we, hours twice a week traveling back and forth. We absorb that cost. You absorb that cost. Minimum twice a week and generally it's been three times a week. And what is the one way you mentioned? Uh, if it's a project? If it's, if it's a project work, um, it was something that fell outside of the contract. Uh, in a nutshell, our contract covers maintenance and repair of all county equipment. If, um, something new came in, a new program that was an emergency or unforeseen that was not yet part of the contract, uh, we have the option of charging separately for that. Does that include, if we're on these new computers, setting them up, would that be considered 
maintenance and I will, uh, yeah, well, part of this part of next year's repair. contract includes setting up all new computers and reallocating existing computers to other staff as necessary. That is part of this contract. No additional charge. No travel charge. No travel charge. No additional charge whatsoever. Thank you. Right now, our contract is three hundred dollars a computer set up. Right. Correct. Kathy. Uh, well, we're talking about we're talking about <coughs> two things here, right? We're talking about the capital equipment expenditures with the virtual server for 2012 is 24,995. And now we're talking about these um, service contract with Cybertron as $100,000. Correct. What I would ask is that the capital um, $24,995 amount? Where'd you get that $24,995? Yeah. I got $26,535. If we did virtualization, oh, okay. look on page four, yep. total okay. for $2012 would be $24,995. Gotcha. Okay. Last year we set up that capital expenditures um, section in the budget for specific, for specific years, not for maintenance or you know, contracts for the IT. I'm just wondering if we should have that capital amount like under the capital expenditures for IT, because that's not going to go, that won't be the next, I mean, that's not every year. Time, right. Where maintenance or service is going to be every year, which could be broken out, as we have last year, by department mm -hmm. under the IT section. Because I'm, I'm, if we're putting it all in, it's going to get a little confusing because for future budgeting. Because going to have different dollars figured right. yeah. For future budgeting. Yeah. I'm just, you know, thought that if there, if we do the contract with Cybertron, that that not be mixed in with the capital right. amount. Yeah, I got you. Do you think the delegation would appreciate it that way, um, Representative? I'm sorry, I was doing some math. Do you think they'd appreciate it being separate so it's clearer to understand? Mm -hmm. The more separation, budget? the clearer it is to everybody. There's no question about that. What's in our budget this year for Cybertron? Total, do you know? Well, we based it on what it was for last year. So now with these new numbers that we have, I will have to go in and adjust it. <coughs> because you know, I hadn't had the... Um, you know what the bottom line was for it was last this year? was the 50, 55. 55,000 right. for maintenance. Right. So no we'll purchasing have to go... No purchasing of equipment. No. Strictly maintenance. That was true. So if we look at 55000 for the complex other than the Sheriff's Department, then we're talking about um, 45000 45, strictly for the Sheriff's Department. And Sheriff, do you have any idea of what we were paying Dave Myers for his service maintenance uh, in the Sheriff's Department? Is it well, 20000 it, it would be very difficult to try to, you know, put a number on it. But if, if he wasn't doing any IT, then it's... Base salary would have been approximately sixty-five thousand. He was getting eighty thousand. However, so that's fifteen. Yeah. yeah, and and that's the thing. I mean, what my initial assessment will be is that I think based upon having a global county contract, that's not going to work for the sheriff's office or for the county. So what I uh, would really like to do is sit down with Mr. Rich with with the contract that he has before you now, mm -hmm. and then. See how you know we can, if we can separate a, a sheriff's aspect of that county, and then bring two contracts here. One for the remainder of the county, and then one for the sheriff's uh, yeah, uh, standalone. And the reason being is, based on his own assessment, that it's going to be 63 percent of the total. I think that's a fair amount of money that you know we we need to sit down and really talk to. Excuse me, sheriff. That 63% was for the total of the email server. You, uh, that was strictly based on the number of uh, machines you have versus what the rest of this building has. So okay. that 63% is strictly for the email server. Thank you. 
All right, so I felt that an IT budget. Uh, I misspoke on that. Oh. Okay. Um, the actual allocated hours, we estimate that your department will take close to 50% of our time spent here throughout the county based upon your needs, um, primarily with your dispatch, but certainly with the rest of your department as well. That's, that's what we're planning on is roughly 50% of our time will be spent for your department. And I also, Mr. Sorensen, I, I've been talking to a subject matter expert from the state IT office and the, and the state military, and he's coming here tomorrow. Uh, he'll be doing a training assessment. So what I would like to do, if he can, is if he can come up and talk to you also on the, you know, budget too. That that would probably be very beneficial. Mm -hmm. Would it be good for him to look at this contract? <coughs> oh, yes. Yeah. As as a matter of fact, he he's been helping me during this transition. You, you know, we've uh, sat down, we've worked through that, and it's gone exceedingly well. Mm -hmm. Way better than expected. So. I think based upon those things that, are, that have happened to date, and then what we're actually working towards now, I think you know, we can end up in a, a, a solid contract here. That's okay. fair. I guess, I guess my thought was to combine the Sheriff's Department with the rest of the complex to reduce the cost. That may not be the case. Um, I think based upon what my assessment is, is that we would have a lower cost based on separating them out. That's my scoped out feeling on it, but I'm not sure, but I will definitely get back to you yeah. on that. Okay. Anybody else have any input? I have a question. Uh, Mr. Lynch, you can also pay to run uh, the computer system of the Sheriff's Department? There was uh, some initial time spent for I mean, to work with Captain Myers to learn all the intricacies of their system, yes. But at this point, uh, that is no longer uh, happening. That is strictly my responsibility to, um, now, now that I know the system, it's my responsibility to train the rest of my people at my own expense. So, uh, you already know the whole system now how it works? Yes. I'm very familiar with their system. There may be some minor details that I still have to. Uh, learn as I go, uh, things that we need a chance to go over with the Captain Myers. Um, we had one crop up just last week concerning the backup software for the Sheriff's Department. Um, but with the knowledge I have, I was able to locate it and move forward. And again, that is done at my expense. Any questions? Okay, thank you. Any additional questions from anybody? One other comment. Um, as I stated earlier, combining the two contracts, we feel we can provide a, uh, a better price to the county. Uh, from our standpoint, whether it's two separate contracts or one contract combined, it doesn't, it doesn't really matter. Um, the fact that we have two contracts, we're still spending the same amount of time here, and it's the, the uh, being that we can combine trips over here is where we're really saving money. Mm -hmm. um, if I'm here for three days, whether it's half of one time or the other, doesn't really matter to me. I'm saving those expenses and we're passing those on to each other. When you're over at the nursing home, for example, yes. uh, do you work on resident computers as well? Uh, there are a couple of residents that have computers and so far my only involvement was with them is to uh, assist them with getting on the public wireless system. If they were required any type of repair to their machine or anything beyond that, it would be their own responsibility. I would not do that on the county's time. But as a courtesy to them, we do get them on the internet. Anybody else got any comments? Yes, Mr. Brown. I guess Nate Words, you get one more page here. Nate, you get that. Nate. Um, John, on the labor and, and parts, I, uh, the services are not included. Um, one of the comments you have here, one of the requirements is that you have to approve all the spare parts 
for supplies going into the system. 